My name is Ojo Isaac. I am the manager of Presta Royal Concept. Presta Royal Concept is an accounting software located in Ikeja, Lagos. Today's topic is how to post accrued expenses. What is accrued expenses? Accrued expenses are those expenses and services that you have enjoyed but yet not paid for, but you have not yet paid for them in the following month or during the following year. So you cannot leave this amount not posted into your search fifty. That is why I want to show you how to post accrued expenses into Sage 50 accordingly. So, follow me and let us do a step. Okay, so we are back to the case study. The case study says how to post accrued expenses. We have some question here. Look at question number one here. It said, on the 31st of December 2019, Ebony Conglomerate's monthly legal expenses stand at 20,000, which means they will be paying 20,000 every month. And the one of December 2019 is due for payment. So therefore, the payment has to be recorded, but the bill has not yet been received. On the as of thirty first, thirty first is the last day of December twenty nineteen. Because the bill has not yet been received, doesn't mean you will not record it. You will record it in order to establish that fact that you are owing some people. That is what make it made it an accrual. Okay, followed by the next question: the bill for December legal expenses was not yet received before the closure of account for the year. That is what I'm saying. If you do not record these expenses in your stage 15, it means that by December, by December 2019, there will not be any expenses in the, your ledger. Therefore, your ledger will not be properly stated. It will be understated and your expenses will be understated. You need to create an accrual for it. The year ends 2020, 2019 and you are moving on to a new year. So you need to report that you are owing some people, you are owing legal expenses the previous year. In the new year, it becomes accrued expenses or accrual. In the new year, it becomes an accrual. It means that by new year reporting, as on 1st of January 2020, you will state that you are owing some people and it will remain in your account, not merely by expressing it, but by stating it in your account that you are owing some people in that previous year. So how do you record it? You record it by following this step. Let's go to C50. This is C50. First and foremost, you go to, we are going to create the ledger to record these very accrued expenses. So remember, you go to maintain, charge of account. Let's check if uh, this ledger has been created before. So an accrued expenses is a liability account. Liability account in C50 is 2 3 code. So that is 2 3. Let's look at it. Look and see. 23,000 accrued expenses classified as other current expenses. There are other expense, uh, current uh, li li liability here. It is under current liability. So you look at it. So if it's already set up or you want to use this very particular ledger, the accrued expenses ledger under other current liabilities, you are free to do to do so. Or alternatively, you can create your own by, by creating a new 
ledger account. That is to say, you create a new ID, then a new description and classification so that you can use it. But for the purpose of this class, we are going to use 23,000 to prosecute this very particular question. So it is there. So therefore, I don't need to create it again. So I close this very particular uh, ledger. So I will go to task, then go to general journal entry. General journal entry is what we are going to use. So I select the date. What is the date? The date he's talking about is uh, 2019. In the case of this um, training, because 2019 is far from here, so let, let me use 2022. I go back to 2022. 2022, December. 2022, December. December. Okay, I'm here. So as our 20, it's assume now that as our 2022 December, uh, we have not yet paid that legal expenses to the lawyer. So I'll say, put my reference number there. Then I will go to the ledger, general ledger account. I'm going to debit the expenses ledger, which is uh, made for legal expenses. So expenses ledger, as you are aware, start from 6,000. 6,000. So let's look for legal expenses or professional expenses. If we have legal expenses there, we can use it or professional expenses. So we'll look at it. Yeah, let's look at it. Legal or professional expenses or legal. Yeah, it's there. Legal and pro professional expenses, 69,000. 69, so I click on it. So say so accrued, legal accrued expenses, legal. Accrued expenses. Yeah, expenses. So how much? Twenty thousand. Put it there. Press the tab key. Press the tab key again to go to uh, the second row. So on this second row, this is the role I will credit. I'm going to credit the. The, cor the, the current uh, uh, liability ledger, that is 23. Yeah, 23 will be credited with 20,000 again. Yeah, 23. So, what I've done, done now is to create it as an accrual. So, when you are creating an accrual with journal, you debit the expense account and credit the liability account. That is the accrual uh, expenses account. So you check the two columns. Two columns is balance. Is balance that is twenty thousand here. Twenty thousand here. Out of balance zero. So I can now save. Before I save, let's look at the case study again. So look at what we have here. I said create accrual ledger, which was the first one that we, have, we checked. But we have the ledger. So this is the post now. And now I debit the PL, which is the expense account, and I credit the accrued expenses uh, ledger. So this is how to recognize it as, a, as an accrual. So we have done that. So let us go to C50 and post. I save. I save. It's about to save a transaction that is not of this current period. I say yes. Let it go. I understand that. It's saying that because there are some people. Some people if they may make mistake by posting to a different period or a different year. So you need to read it and, and then answer the question. So the next thing is to pay this B. On the 4th of January 2020, the legal expenses for December 2019 was received. It means that finally the lawyer brought the bill. So it will now be posted for that particular month. So how are we going to post it? We are not going to post it to make reference to January, no. So it's already an accrued expenses. So on the 5th of January 2020, 2020, the legal expenses was paid finally 
was paid on the 5th of uh, January. The bill was brought in by the lawyer on the 4th of Ju January. The bill was paid on the 5th of January 2020. So we have recognized it as an accrual, which we come out as uh, a liability under the statement of financial position. The next one now is to pay. So if you are posting the payment, it means that the accrued expenses will be debited while cash will be credited. So that is the procedure. So let's do that now. Let's go to C50. C50, go to task. Then finally, we go to payment. Then we go to uh, payment uh, window. We are already here. The vendor ID. Click on the vendor ID. So when you click on the vendor ID, then you will select the lawyer. The lawyer in this case is uh, Madam Oduton. Okay, so you select Oduton. Oduton, who is the lawyer? If it's not yet there, you want to set it up as a lawyer. So you enter the reference number for the payment. So the check was um, what? That is uh, Zenith Bank. Let's enter the reference number ZB. ZB. Zero. Yeah, that is the reference number. So you are going to pay on on the first. Okay, let's go to first of December now of January. Sorry. So we are now in January. The payment was made on the fifth of uh, January, twenty twenty three. Okay. So let's select that fifth. 2023 January. Okay, so select the bank, which is uh, the Zenith Bank. You know, as I said before, cash account is the account that is paying. Zenith Bank, that has been selected. Then, method of payment, check. You select check here. Check here. So, what you do, there, do here is to now enter legal, legal, Expenses. For December twenty twenty two. We press the tab key to get to general ledger account to select the account for accrued expenses that you have already created. That is what you will create here. That is two theory. That is what you will post it to here. This is where it will be post, posted against because you already created it as an accrual. So you are not going to post it against the expense account because the expense account have been reported the previous year. So you are paying against this very particular uh, ledger 23000 accrued expenses. Then you press your tab key and enter the amount there 20,000. Then after that, save. After you have posted this transaction, you will go to report to see the appearance or rather the output of what you have posted. If you have posted correctly, the report will show you. You go to report. And forms menu, you click on it, you click on financial statements. From financial statement, you select balance sheet, you select balance sheet, balance sheet for last uh, year, which is uh, 2022. We'll select that 2022 December. Let's select that first to see what we posted to that very account if it's properly posted. To December, which is um, 2022 December, we click on OK to view the appearance. OK, so look at um, the balance sheet for 
2022. Look at it. Balance sheet 31st December 2022. Um, current assets. You have uh, property and equipment. Then you have um, other assets, then total assets, current liabilities. You know, what you posted is under current liabilities. Look at it. Accrued expenses is here waiting. That as at 31st of January, or rather in January now, is already accrued for the company. So it's already an accrued expenses which company is bound to pay the following year. So it's already here. Okay, so we have done that. So let's check the report when we have paid as at 5th of January 2023. If this accrued expenses is still there or it has declared. Okay, so let's do that. Click on option. Go to range again. It's already on range. Select January now. We are now going to focus on January because the report we are going to look at is in January. So we look at January, we also select it and select to fresh and uh, check if it is already there. Okay, so this is the current liabilities. Look at the current liabilities. Um, accrued expenses. No, it's not there. It has declared. Look at it. It has declared totally. So it has, it's the, the, the balance is no longer there. So this is the balance sheet that the company will not operate in the new year. This is how to post accrued expenses in Sage 15. Please subscribe to this video. Subscribe to other videos that we have also released so that when we post it online, they will be getting notification. Thank you.